Common Core is crap. Here's why. Many educators and parents have come out in recent times to critique Common Core. Often those critiques come out in the form of some problem that's posted online that seems too complicated or inefficient. Well, many will critique Common Core just in the bent of being inefficient as compared to the standard form. There's actually an important scientific underpinning as to why Common Core does not work for young learners. What is missed in this discourse is the backbone to Common Core methodology, which teaches higher level thinking skills and mental math before the foundations of mathematics has been laid through memorization and basic skills practice. Common Core effectively expects young children to have an adult brain when doing math. This is why you'll see quite a few adults who praise Common Core because they can suddenly understand math, when in reality it was their years of experience using math in real life and their adult brains that allowed them to absorb the Common Core method. You'll see many high IQ people say that they use these Common Core mental math tricks in order to do well in school, but they forget that it was their natural intelligence, their detail orientation, and their memorization of basic math facts that allowed them to succeed. It wasn't the other way around where they learned mental math before doing the drills and skills practice. When children have to show mental math work on paper and break down problems with 20 steps instead of maybe four with the standard algorithm, you're gonna see them make more mistakes. Children are more prone to error because of that short-term orientation, and so they think they're stupid because they don't have the mental stamina to keep up with all the steps that have to be shown with Common Core methods. For most students, the way to learn math is to first have a memorization of the basic terms and to practice those skills. That's how come so many Asian countries are so successful. They drill the skills with the understanding that the higher order skills can't really be brought in until the brain has developed in the mid-teen years. Unfortunately, many young students are now going to think that they are incompetent in math, when really they needed the skills drills and the memorization first before their brains had developed enough to be able to do the higher order, multi-step problems and critical thinking skills that can't really happen for most people until they're in their mid-teens. When common core methods are being implemented and more and more is being put on students' plates, you have a recipe for disaster. So when people tell you that common core is a good thing and you just don't understand the goals, you you can tell them that they just don't understand childhood biology and psychology. 